hello friends welcome to testing shala youtube channel in this video you will be learning about how to write the test cases for whatsapp application so you will be learning in detail on how to write different kinds of test cases for whatsapp application in this video i am going to help you in learning and writing the detailed test cases for the whatsapp application before moving further if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills so let us move on to understand what are the different test cases you can write for whatsapp application the first test case you should write for whatsapp application is downloading from the app store you should validate whether you can really download from app store to your mobile phone that is uh, whatsapp can be downloaded from apple store or you can download from google store you should write different test cases for android uh, mobile devices and iphone devices this would be the first test case that is downloading the whatsapp app then the second is after downloading it asks for registration the whatsapp asks for registration that is by giving you a phone number you should write different test cases to validate the phone numbers by giving invalid numbers or in invalid giving the invalid country of the phone number by giving special characters numbers all combinations you should test just to ensure that registration fails so if the validation here is one is successful case where we are going to give your right number the second is where you will be giving the various combinations of inputs that gives a failure of the registration the, these are the some of the test cases you will be writing in terms of registration of the phone number in the whatsapp the third test cases would be as i was uh, saying uh, the once the registration is done you will be getting a message once the registration is done you will get a mobile message for verification write different test cases one is a successful case and the second is you should keep registering with the same number that is called as a duplicate you should get a valid error message saying that this phone number is already registered or certain situation when the network is down during registration how it works all those things you should validate as part of the verification of the registration and you should write detailed test cases by covering the duplicates failures and success path this is the third important test case for whatsapp functionality the fourth is display picture you will be testing this display picture feature by adding a new picture deleting a picture all these test cases you will be executed for display picture the fifth is whatsapp status here you will have a empty status you will be validating then you will be updating with some uh, status then you will remove those status then see to that all those status gets updated and visible to other people in appropriate way this would be the fifth test case the sixth test case would be message sending whatsapp message sending where you will be sending single file or multiple files from all types of data such as files images videos you name any kind of file system you should be able to send through whatsapp you should test with various combinations of these test cases just to ensure that the messages you can send with any of these attachments then seventh once you send the all the messages with the data or an attachment then you should verify the receiving the message in the other side just to ensure that whatever you have sent from one phone the other phone will receive the same content in a more 
consistent and integrated manner without losing of any data which is the seventh important test case for whatsapp functionality then eighth would be the call feature where you are able to make the call another one is call the phone when other side phone is switched off or call the phone when the network is down in other side you try to simulate various combinations of the scenarios that would help you to test this call feature in whatsapp this would be the eighth test case then let's move on to the ninth test cases where messages you wanted to block let's say you wanted to block the messages from a particular mobile number then you should test this message blocking functionality just to ensure that this message blocking functionality works really as expected then the 10th test cases would be where you should be able to create a group as an admin you should be able to delete as an admin or you should be able to update the membership as and when you need it so that kind of test cases also you should test for creating of a group in a whatsapp then 11th test case would be the camera feature there is a camera feature in the whatsapp where you should be able to take a picture and you should be able to send that picture to the other person through a whatsapp then you should test all these combinations just to ensure that the camera feature is really works as expected this would be the 11th test cases for whatsapp the 12th would be the contact management whatever the numbers your contact details which is available in your whatsapp you should be able to manage those contacts in a very structured manner similar to your mobile phone similar to your mobile phone contacts the contacts you should be able to add a new contacts you should be able to delete a contact you should be able to update a con contact all those things you should be able to perform using contacts in whatsapp then you should write different combinations of these test cases to test this feature then the then the 13th would be account deletion once the account deletion that means you are exiting from the whatsapp that kind of testing also you should perform then the 14th would be normally whatsapp data will get stored in the your mobile your in a local mobile itself there are options also available in whatsapp the data it can be stored in the cloud server that means you should test with how the data is getting stored in the cloud plus network failures all the different kinds of scenarios you need to simulate that would help you to test the data storage aspects in the whatsapp i hope you are able to get to know all, all the 14 test cases for testing the whatsapp functionality hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like button and if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then do click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to, to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care